Hello creators, my name is Zen, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a realistic waistband with an internal elastic tape. This method will work with any type of fabrics. Here you can see how it looks in nylon, rayon jersey, double knee jersey and leather. No matter how thick the fabric, it will look pretty realistic. So let's see how we can do this. I'll start with these simple patterns of shorts. I have a front, back and the waistband. If you want to repeat my actions and practice on these shorts, you can download this project file. I left a link in the description. I'll try to mention every tool and button that I press during this tutorial, but if I miss something, you can see all the press buttons here. I highly recommend you to use shortcuts, because it speeds up the work significantly. I've already sewn the pattern edges and arranged them around the avatar. This waistband has the same length as the top edges on shorts. If I turn on the simulation spacebar, you can see that the waistband is too big, so we need to add an elastic. There is a tool which is called Elastic and it's located in the Property Editor. If you select the line with Z, Edit Pattern Tool, you will see an elastic option in the Property Editor. You can add it to internal or outlines to make an elastic effect, but I don't recommend you to add it to this pattern. It's a way better to add a physical elastic as a pattern. Let's focus on it and ignore this pattern for now. I will use it later as a top part of the waistband. Move it away and delete the sewing lines with B Edit Sewing tool. Select it and press Ctrl J to deactivate it. Now we need to define the width and the length for elastic and drafty pattern. The width will be the same as on the top part, 5 cm. The length you can get in a few ways. You can calculate it if you know the dimensions of the avatar. Or you can draw a circumference line on the avatar and measure it. This line will indicate where the waistband should be located and will give us a possibility to attach elastic to this line to prevent the waistband from sliding up and down. So I will draw it for sure. Select the basic circumference tool in a 3D window and now I need to left click three times to have a full line. I usually make the first click here on a dashed line, the second click on the opposite dashed line. You can hold the shift key to have a second click on the same height as the first one. And the third one I'd like to have on a center back. The measure will pop up. It is 68 cm. If you don't see it, select the Edit Measure tool, select the line and it is here. We have the length and width, let's make a pattern for elastic. Press S, rectangle tool, and left click in a 2D window. Set the height to 5 cm and the width to 68 divided by 2, 34 cm. We need only half because we will unfold it to have symmetric editing. Press OK, then select the side edge, right click, unfold symmetric editing. We have the elastic, now let's place it on the avatar. Press Shift F to show arrangement points. Select elastic and locate it on a front center point. I want to have a seam on the center back. Shift F again to hide arrangement points. Then sew it to the shorts. Press N, segment sewing tool, select the left part of the elastic, so the notch will be on the left. Then press and hold shift and select back, then front top edges on the shorts. Make sure that notches are on the same side. As we have symmetric editing, we need to sew only one half of the elastic to the shorts. Symmetric sewing lines will be added automatically. Sew a center back seam as well and simulate. Looks good, but the elastic is too stretchy. It is not so visible at the moment because the particle distance of this pattern is 20, which is big. Reduce it from 20 to 5 and you will see that. Select elastic, go to the property editor and reduce it here. Now you can see that it stretches on the bottom edge. We need to pick a stiffer fabric. I usually choose trim hardware for that. Yeah, it sounds like it isn't made for elastics, but who cares, it's a 3D, not real manufacturing. I will add a new material in the object browser, select it and go to the very end of the property editor, physical properties. Change the preset to trim hardware. If you click on details, you'll see all the physical properties. High values of stretching prevent it from stretching. High bending makes it stiffer. Let's apply this fabric, drag and drop it. And here you can see the difference. You can notice a gap between elastic and the body. To remove it you need to change the skin offset of the avatar. The avatars by default have a 3mm offset, which means the distance between avatar and clothes. Select avatar and you can see the offset value in the property editor. 
change it to zero. Here we go. Then I want to stick my elastic to the line that I drew before. Select Attach Measure tool here, click on the one half of the top edge, then on the line, then on the other half, and on the line again. Now it sticks to the line and doesn't move, which is great. However, small bumps appeared on the sides. You can pull the fabric down to flatten them. Don't worry about it so much, when we sew the top and inner part to elastic, it will flatten automatically. If you don't like it anyways, you can change the physical properties of elastic and increase the stretching and bending values, as you like. It's time to bring the top part back. Select and activate it with Ctrl J, then sew it to the elastic with a segment sewing tool. Press N and sew top to top, bottom to bottom edges. Select it in a 3D window, right click, superimpose over to place it over elastic according to the sewing lines. Then set a sub layer to avoid a collision. This tool defines which pattern should be located on top or underneath the other, so during the simulation they will not penetrate each other. Select this tool in the 2D pattern window, select the top pattern, then elastic. In our case, the top pattern will be on top of the elastic. Now let's add internal lines to make stitching. Select top edges on both patterns, right click, offset as internal line. In this window you can choose the location of internal lines and their quantity. I want to have two lines, so I change the number here. And I want to have them at a distance of about 1.5 or even 1.6 cm. Check the reverse direction if your lines are going in the opposite direction. Click OK and sew these internal lines together and simulate. Particle distance 10 is quite big for the top part, uh, so you need to decrease it to see a gathering. Select it and change particle distance to 5 for now. Later we will need to decrease it to 1 or 2 to get more realistic wrinkles. Also decrease the thickness collision for both parents to 1 or even 0.5. This value indicates how big the distance should be between parents to avoid collision between them. 2.5 mm is quite big for this waistband, these parents should be located closer to each other. Otherwise we see a kind of puffy effect. So I feel pretty good with 0.5 mm. Here is the difference. Now let's add an inner part to cover the elastic inside. I will hide the avatar, shift A. We need to add an inner part here and I want it to be the same as the top part. So select the top part, copy it with Ctrl C and paste with Ctrl V. So all edges to elastic accordingly, top to top, internals and bottom edges. Then select it, right click in a 3D window, superimpose under to locate it under elastic. An important thing is to flip the face for the inner part. You can notice it has a black color. If you don't, switch to the texture surface mode here. This black color means that we see the wrong side of the fabric at the moment. White is the right side, black is the wrong. If you don't flip it, you'll probably get problems with seams fault angles and with texturing. Right click on it, flip normals. Also set a sub layer for this part. Click on an elastic first, then on the inner part and change plus to minus because we've flipped normals. And simulate. Now it's time to adjust fold angles a bit. We have 180 degrees fold angles on all plane seams by default. You can see it in the property editor if you select the sewing line with B edit sewing tool. It means that pieces that are sewn together are located at 180 degrees angle to each other. You can change it as you want, but usually this default angle works great with pieces that are located next to each other like these ones. Sometimes it's better to decrease or increase it when one piece is located on top of the other, like on the waistband. This angle also depends on the fabric that you use, type of simulation, GPU or CPU, so it's better to change it depending on your needs. I want to decrease the fold angle for this bottom edge seams, for example to 30. Here we go. Also I want to flatten the top seam a bit. I'll do it only on the top edge of the inner part. 30 as well. One more thing, delete the normal map for the top seam so it looks like a fold. In my previous video about the neckband I told that all the seams that we see in the 3D window are actually small bumps created by normal map textures. You can adjust or delete them. Select top seams with B, edit sewing tool. Go to the property editor and set intensity and thickness of the normal map to zero. Do not delete it with this button. 
because it will appear again after restarting the program. Set the values to zero. And now it's almost finished. If you don't like this curved line and want to have a straight looking elastic, you can detach it from the circumference line. Hide top and inner parts with Shift Q, select them and hide. Then select Attach to Measure tool, click on the one half of the top edge, press Delete, on the other Delete. Simulate and bring back top and inner parts with Shift Q and the avatar with Shift A. And now you can move it. If you want to have the top edge a little bit closer to the skin, you can add an elastic option to the top edge of the elastic. I mentioned this option at the beginning. Select the edge and check Elastic in the Property Editor. 100 is an actual unstretched length. You can make it smaller, 95 for example. It also depends on the physical properties of your fabric and your needs. In the end, decrease particle distance one more time, this time to 2. And that's pretty it. I guess I told you everything that I know about waistbands. Hope that it was useful for you. Wish you all the best and see you in the next videos. Bye!